Former star Thierry Henry praised Manchester United's new signing Sophie and Amrabat. Manchester United's new signing Sophie and Amrabat received praise from his former star Thierry Henry. Henry praised Amrabat's technical ability and energy. Henry said, Amrabat is a versatile player, he can play in midfield, defense and attack, he is also a very energetic player and this is very important for Manchester United. Henry also said that he believed Amrabat would be successful at Manchester United. Amrabat was praised by all the fans for his performance against Crystal Palace in the Coraboa Cup match. What is your opinion on this subject? Will Amrabat continue his good performance? Alejandro Garnacho reacts to Hannibal Medjbri's performance against Crystal Palace. Manchester United secured a 3-0 win over Crystal Palace in the third round of the Carabao Cup last night, with goals from Alejandro Garnacho, Casemiro and Anthony Marshall sending the hosts through to the fourth round. Hannibal Medjbri was one of the best players against the Eagles at Old Trafford, putting in an impressive shift in the middle of the park. The 20-year-old Tunisian international attacking midfielder was deployed alongside Facundo Palistri and Garnacho behind Marshall, and he was brilliant all through the 71 minutes he spent on the pitch. Garnacho was impressed with Medjbri's performance, taking to Instagram to comment on the Tunisian's post. Man United need a quality cover in the number 10 position if they are to make anything out of their campaign and the academy graduate could be the answer. Medjbri was brilliant in the Premier League games against Brighton and Hove Albion and Burnley, finding the back of the net with a spectacular strike in the former. He will now hope to keep playing regularly this term and deserves to after his recent brilliant showing. Medjbri was booked after 29 minutes for a rash challenge and will need to do better in that aspect going forward. He is out of contract at Man United at the end of the season but there is an option to extend it by an additional year, and while that is expected to be triggered, the Old Trafford club are planning talks with the attacker over a new long-term deal. He completed his first 90 minutes in the win over Burnley on Saturday and it will be interesting to see whether he can force his way into the first-team plans of manager Eric Ten Hag. Case Miro delivers masterclass performance against Crystal Palace in Corabao Cup. The Brazil international had a mixed start to the new campaign and there were question marks over his fitness after the club's defeat at Tottenham Hotspur. Against Burnley, he had another good showing from midfield and replicated the feat last night. He did not have much defensive work to do and expressed himself. Case Miro scored the second goal with a lovely header before assisting the club's third from Anthony Marshall. Aside from his goal involvements, the midfielder had a stunning 122 touches with 100 successful passes. He delivered 10 long balls alongside three interceptions and two tackles. It was a dominating performance from Case Miro, who looked back at his best. He will be aiming to repeat the performance when United host Palace in the Premier League on Saturday. The Red Devils have now won back-to-back -back matches in all competitions. The weekend's game at Old Trafford could be a different test with Palace likely to line up with a stronger 11. United likewise will make changes to the starting lineup. The likes of Marcus Rashford, Rasmus Hodgland, Bruno Fernandes and Victor Lindelof are expected to make the 11-2. The club should fancy another victory over Palace to close the gap on the top four. United are currently five points adrift of the Champions League places. With Tottenham Hotspur hosting Liverpool, the club have another excellent opportunity to reduce the deficit to the top four. Manchester United almost missed out on summer signing to Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp almost signed Sophie and Amrabat at Liverpool before Manchester United transfer. According to the Daily Mail, Sophie and Amrabat was almost on the verge of being signed by Liverpool this transfer window. 
The international player from Morocco will eventually play his first United match this evening against Crystal Palace in the Carabao Cup. In an effort to persuade the 27-year-old to join his midfield rebuild after the departures of Jordan Henderson, Fabinho, and James Milner, Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp personally called the former Fiorentina star. Klopp was just a whisker away from acquiring Amrabat before a last-minute, unanticipated delay forced the Reds to focus on signing Ryan Gravenberge from Bayern Munich. For 24 hours, negotiations between Liverpool and Amrabat's camp were placed on pause. During that time, Liverpool looked into the prospect of signing Gravenberge, who was thought to be a better fit for Klopp's needs given his age. Since joining Fiorentina from Hellas Verona in 2020, the defensive midfielder has made 107 appearances, one goal and one assist. Since Fred departed the team and Casemiro was the sole choice, it's fantastic that he chose United over Liverpool. Scott McTominay is rarely preferred by Ten Hag and Christian Eriksen doesn't have the defensive bite to his game as Amrabat does. Manchester United trio want Jadon Sancho to apologize to Eric Ten Hag. Jadon Sancho urged by Manchester United trio to apologize to Eric Ten Hag. According to the Mirror, via Manchester Evening News, Jadon Sancho has been urged by his teammates to apologize to his boss Eric Ten Hag. The Times has also reported that in an effort to settle the conflict between Eric Ten Hag and Jadon Sancho, the Professional Footballers Association has volunteered its assistance. Sancho was suspended from first-team training by Ten Hag two weeks ago after the winger failed to accept responsibility for a social media post that practically called the Manchester United manager a liar. According to ESPN, Sancho has been advised by his England teammates to apologize to Ten Hag in order to preserve his Old Trafford career. Sancho's teammates, led by Marcus Rashford, Luke Shaw, and Harry Maguire, have intervened in an effort to end the standoff, which has lasted more than three weeks. While he is banned from training, the England attacker has not been selected for the teams facing Brighton, Bayern Munich, and Burnley. Additionally, he has been excluded from the canteen and all first-team areas, including the locker rooms. Sancho presently works out alone on the academy fields with club coaches and is only permitted sporadic interactions with his senior teammates. As for Sancho, it could be a good idea to make amends with the manager and save his career. Otherwise, he risks wasting his best years on our bench. If anyone should budge here, it should be Sancho, even if some believe Ten Hag is in the wrong. He is the manager of the club, after all, and the final selection decisions rest with him.